Hi, I'm head basketball coach John Gross here at the University of Akron, standing with our senior, Jamond Ivey. Just finished up day seven, and today is day seven of the Real Men Wear Pink interview series. Today we handed out our gold standard jersey to Dang Riak. Congratulations to him uh, for his performance last week, but we've had a lot of guys that have gotten better individually, and we certainly feel like we're getting better as a team collectively as we start to head into the last day of this three-day cycle tomorrow. I'd love to get Jamon's thoughts, obviously, as a player and an older guy, and we're counting on him a great deal, not only in practice, but really everything we do, both on and off the court. His thoughts here early on on preseason practice. Uh, my thoughts on uh, preseason practice is that this group of guys we got likes to compete. Uh, we like to get better. Um, but I think the most important thing that we've taken, uh, taken on is one day at a time. Uh, we're not looking ahead to any, like, scrimmages or games or anything. We just taking it one day at a time, uh, just trying to gel together and just work as hard as we can. And coach trying to give us everything we need and we just trying to soak it all in. Uh, yeah, this is my senior season. Uh, some goals that I'm looking forward to is, obviously I want to win a MAC championship. Uh, I've been here for four years now. And that's just the ultimate goal, uh, not only for me, but I think for my whole team and my whole staff, the whole staff. And uh, personally, I, that's, that's really, that's part of my personal goal because uh, like, that's what, I, that's what I really want out of everything. Everybody want to be a winner, and I'm a winner. I'm a competitor, so I want to win at the top, the highest level. And obviously, I want to go to the NCAA tournament, but can't do that unless you win uh, in the MAC tournament. So, I mean, that's probably my biggest goal. Now, great thoughts there by Jamon. And obviously, he talked a lot about two different things. We talk about the telescope and having an idea of where we want to go long term. And he certainly talked about those goals in terms of winning. But if you notice, he also talked, which is important, as a second year guy about transferring the message to our young guys about we're taking this one day at a time on a microscopic level as much as we are on the telescopic level long term of where we want to go. We understand that every day impacts that and we're trying to take advantage of every day and every opportunity that we have to get better. Uh, right now, as much as we want to talk about championships, I told him we haven't earned that right yet. We've got to get a lot better. We've got to improve. We've got to be a better team at both ends of the floor. We've got to be much more synchronized and more connected than we are right now. And we're figuring out our leadership within our locker room uh, as that evolves. So I do like the progress that we've made, but we certainly have a long way to go. Again, thanks for joining us for Real Men Wear Pink, the, our interview series here on day seven. We'll see you tomorrow for day, day eight. If obviously the Breast Cancer Awareness Month is going on right now, which is why I'm wearing the pink, uh, I know that uh, you see different things out in our communities right now, recognizing that it is an important endeavor. It's an important fight. We ask if it's something you're convicted about or interested in donating to, to go onto the website, realmenwearpinkacs.org. Click on my picture. I continue to reference I'm the ball guy out of all the pictures on the website. Uh, please choose us. Continue to uh, represent us in our Akron Zip Men's Basketball Program as we partner with the American Cancer Society in the fight against breast cancer. Thanks again and go Zips.